Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys all hear and see me okay? <laughs> if so, go ahead in the chat room and say yes. All right, all right, I'm getting a yes. That is awesome. Okay, good, good, good. I'm glad. I am so glad that you guys are all here. Thank you so much for joining me on this virtual happy hour where we are going to discuss how to start your staging and design side hustle, um, even if you're working nine to five. So we have a lot to go over. This is a really fun one. This is a very interactive um, live event. So I'm glad you're used to being in the chat room. Hopefully you already chatted kind of where you're calling in from. And great, I can see you're all in. That is wonderful. So a few little housekeeping things I like to do. You should be able to see, you should be seeing kind of my screen that has that kind of how to start your staging and design hustle. And what I generally will do is I'll go over a lot of material and I'll take questions at the end because I'm here to answer your questions. You guys had so many good questions. And also I have to always say, because sometimes technology is not always my friend and my Wi-Fi sometimes goes, doesn't really go out, but it did once. So I'm going to remember that this system will still stay up. So if all of a sudden you can't see or hear me, something happened on my side, just be patient. I'll get right back in there. Um, and I also request, you know, in the chat, please don't do voice recordings and things. That's uh, a little distracting. <laughs> I know it gives you a lot of options, but just type away and have fun with it. And um, also, you know, comment on a lot of the things I'm going to be asking you questions and all that good stuff all along the way. So welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Let's talk about what you're going to learn. This is kind of my session that uh, was created. This was this was created kind of, I don't know, like three months into uh, COVID. Uh, we were all hunkering down when COVID hit. I actually did virtual weekly happy hours for our industry, the staging and design industry, to walk people through how to do this remotely. And sure enough, it was an industry we were able to do remotely while staying in home because technology and design plans really allowed us to do that. Um, so this kind of morphed out of that, this presentation, it's gonna be probably the last time I give this presentation because here we are um, a year after, I'm still feeling the effects of it, uh, definitely. Are you guys still feeling the effects of COVID in your area? Probably, but luckily a lot of us are getting vaccinated. Good things are happening. So we're going to talk about lessons learned and a survey from the COVID crisis. I'm going to talk about real estate staging industry crystal ball predictions for 2021 and beyond, because I think we can all agree these are very strange times in the real estate, housing, and remodeling world. Um, I'm going to also give you a roadmap. A lot of you just said, how do I get started? Of course, I'm going to cover that. I'm going to really walk you through mistakes stagers and designers make and how to avoid them. Uh, zero overhead niches on how to expand smartly. But most importantly, I'm going to walk you through some great inspiring stories of people just like you uh, who were at a live event of mine a year ago, even six months ago, and great things are happening in their lives. So, Because I know I like to hear those stories. I like to see their photos. And if I give you a lot of great information, is it okay if I give you a little bit of my sales spiel um, midway through to talk about kind of my courses and a discount? If that's okay with you, go ahead in the chat room and put, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Or sure, perfect, Sherry. Thanks. <laughs> you guys are great. All right, who is this presentation for? It's obviously for those people looking into the staging and design industry. I should say both. Um, even new stagers and designers, you're going to get something a lot out of this. And even my veteran stagers and my HSR members, so this is for you because there's some great stories and encouragement all along the way. And those who just love design. So I always would love it if you can, if you have your phone on you, you know, Get rid of all your distractions. Give yourself this hour to just get excited um, about this industry, about the potential. Um, this is really for you. So if one of these is you, if you love design, you love color, you're in the right place. Pretty much anybody, if this is you where you like to see before photos like this turn into after photos like this one, if that is you, go ahead and put that's me <laughs> because we've had some time to spend at home, right? And um, I love, I don't get tired of seeing before and after photos. <laughs> yeah, great. You guys, you guys are my people, my tribe. I love it. All right. 
So who am I? <laughs> You're like, who is this girl? My name's Audra Slinky, and I am president of the Home Staging Resource, and I actually started the first online kind of mixed media home staging and redesign certification training way back in 2006. I can't even believe it's been 15 years. So I've been in this industry for a long, long time. Um, I'm the number one, number two blogger for, you know, the industry. Um, I've won some some innovator a year awards with Risa and I've shared the stage with Barbara Corcoran and Sabrina Soto over in Yip at the Risa conventions. But the really the thing that I love the most, what really gets me up every day is really helping people who have a passion for design start successful businesses doing what they love, helping them make money, helping them be successful in design. And I do that through my training, my certification training in staging and design. There's that logo. If you see it on stager and designer's website, you know they're my person. I have a color training and an e-design or design training. So if you have, if you are in any of my trainings or you've taken my trainings, you know I get nervous every time I do these live events where I have hundreds of you on this live event. A shout out is always appreciated in the chat room. Thank you guys. <laughs> you guys are great. Um, all right, so let's go. Thank you, Patty. Um, it started with a story. When COVID kind of hit, I expected like so many of you guys um, that, that, you know, my business would just, you know, shut down. But I noticed more and more people were gravitating towards wanting to do what they were passionate about. And one thing I do when somebody signs up for my courses is I interview them. And so when this is an interview form by Jackie Hill, you know, way back, you can see April 20th, um, 2020. So it was right during the COVID. And I was really struck by everybody's interview forms were starting to look really similar. And they would say, when I said, what are your hopes and goals in this regard? She, they would say, she said, I would love to do this full time. Life is too short not to dream big and go after your dreams with everything you've got. I want to wake up every morning excited to get out of bed, doing what I love, all the while helping others. They say you'll never work a day in your life if you're doing what you love. And I noticed this kind of pattern of people kind of chucking what they they thought were their steady jobs. Obviously, a lot of us, you know, went through a lot of heartache and pain and layoffs. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to do what I love this time. And she, Jackie, and a lot of other people, I just, that kind of resonated. Um, so I'm going to ask you in the chat room. So I, this is where I'm going to ask you to be honest and transparent. I'm going to be honest with you. I'd love it if you could be honest in the chat room. Have you been struggling during this kind of crazy COVID year, pandemic year, with wanting to do something more with your life and time? I mean, I, I know a lot of people told me they spent a lot of time just reflecting. It was almost like a reset for them. Um, maybe something even more aligned with your passions. Cherie says, big time. I love it. Yeah, you are not alone. It was, it's been kind of this crazy reset. Desire to give back, Cheryl said. I love it. Yes, absolutely. You're not alone. So what I did, people know that when they go through my training, I have a private Facebook group called Stagers Connect. And it's kind of my, my tribe of people. I threw that in, uh, Stagers Connect, kind of that question, um, because all those people had been through, you know, this kind of, they just started their business during COVID. And I asked him, you know, how has life changed for you? What prompted your journey to become, in their case, a stager and designer? How has your life changed in the six months? You know, because this was a six month check-in and I actually did a recheck-in with my people even last week, just wanting to know kind of where they were at with this and how life has changed them. And I have to, I got tons of more comments, in fact, more than this ever since, but the comments were really interesting. Like I loved it. Karen Brack, she retired after 40 years of public education uh, to become a certified stager. So she, she kind of said, okay, teaching over Zoom, forget it, I'm out, <laughs> which I kind of don't blame her. Uh, Nancy, she was a flight attendant. You know, remember flights, everything kind of went down and that was her reset where she thought you know what i've had a passion for design i'm gonna pursue it i've always loved it so her goal is to not have to return to flying when her leave ends and i know nancy's getting very close to her goal which i love um save your questions you guys i love your questions never fear i'm here to answer them i just want your comments but i'm trying to inspire you too uh patricia i mean she was laid off from her job newly divorced had the you know needed the steady income i mean 
life was really kind of beating her down. Um, but she knew that she wanted to follow her hopes and dreams. I love that. So, you know, and she's been working with a lot of people in the Stagers Connect. So I love these stories. Your Lindsay actually just sent me this message where she said, I know you hear from past and current students all the time. I wanted to reach out and tell you how incredibly grateful I am for your training. This may sound dramatic, but I can honestly say that signing up for the HSR certification changed my life. My business growth has been fast and furious since I received my certification and it came at a time when my family needed it the most. In early January of last year, my husband was laid off before all the COVID craziness. Suddenly my mantra of, hey, I get to do this because I love it, not for the money, <laughs> no longer held true. She needed to jump in and actually be the support for her family. Can you imagine? Have you guys been there? Is Oh, Lindsay's there. That's me. Lindsay, I'm talking about you here. I love your story. Um, so I love it. You guys, good stories. Thank you for cheering in. Retired, moving on. So now I'm getting back to you. Have you been wanting to do more? Have you been struggling with that? Something more aligned with your passions. Well, they took a survey during COVID and 80% of the respondents were determined to find the silver linings during this difficult time. Let's be honest, we have all gone through difficulties in the last year, things that we never would have expected happen. Um, and some of us a lot worse than others. Um, and I hear stories, you know, daily. But I love that 80% are looking for the silver linings. We're trying to find the hope. Two thirds said it was important. They wanted to achieve something. It was kind of their reset where they said, okay, what do I want to do in life? 57%, they're looking forward to doing activities now and passions they never would have had time for. No surprise, you guys, that um, electric bikes are soaring. Like a lot of activities and things that people weren't really doing just skyrocketed. You know, if only we had the crystal ball on the stock market to know <laughs> all these things people really love to do. Um, which really brings me to you. And I want to hear you guys in the chat room because you already mentioned that you love to see before and after photos. Did you decorate your room as a child or your Barbie house like this little girl? If you did, go ahead in the chat room. That's a you. That's a yes. And we think everybody did that. But let me tell you, we are an unusual group <laughs> because we're actually less than 10% of the population. Most people, and I know this because I have two sons and they never ever uh, decorate their room or look at HGTV or get tingles when they open up a new design magazine or when I go into a bookstore, I head straight for the design area. That is my happy place. If you feel me, go ahead in the chat room and say it. And then I have to also tell you, did you know you could make money actually doing this as your passion? And a lot of people don't realize it or they don't give themselves credit or there's a lot of fear, but there's definitely a pathway. Um, here's another before and after photo. Now this is a very tricky room, but I love what she did there. <laughs> Pretty crazy. <laughs> Good, you guys are great. So. What are some of the lessons in the chat room? Go ahead and put it down. What are some of the lessons you've learned? You know, I've talked, I've shared some of the lessons that other people have learned. What are the lessons that you learned during COVID? Anything you want to share in the chat is always interesting for everybody else. I always read the chat afterward because I love it. And you guys are still, I know, talking about the dollhouse. I had a Barbie van RV and it was the best. Anyway, for me, some of my lessons, um, I have a huge now a new sense of appreciation for my health, obviously, and for my family and for my home, right? We spent a lot of time inside our home. So spending time making home a real safe and serene place was important to me. I'm grateful for a career that I can actually do remotely. Um, but I still have this uneasy, I feel like we all have a little bit of this post-traumatic, this uneasy feeling that things can change on a dime. Do you feel that way? Uh, I still find it very surreal when I go into a store and we're all wearing masks or I go to an event and everybody, it feels so surreal still. Yeah, you guys get me. I know. It's been over a year. I still can't get past it. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I choked. Ooh. So... One of the things, these are my sons, my two boys. This was a photo of them last year, right before COVID hit. And my son on the right, Trevor, all planned to go to college. Our best laid plans. I mean, we visited tons of colleges, did all the research. And when it came time in July for him to go off, the college got closed. <laughs> he was supposed to do it from home and he is not that kind of student. And we knew we would be setting our poor son up to fail if he went off to a school like that. 
So talk about your best laid plans, changing. And in his case, he took a gap semester traveling in the Northwest with a small group of kids just like himself and working at places like Habitat for Humanity, learning how to cut tile and build homes. So aren't, isn't it crazy? The pivot is a real thing, right? So I love it. Your, your comments are wonderful. Thank you. But I guess the point is what this pandemic really brought for us is a lot of change out of our comfort zones, getting us out of our comfort zones. And a lot of times, I love this slide, when we get out of our comfort zones, there's growth there, especially in his case. I mean, talk about the growth. He he probably learned more in that one semester than he would have in four years in college. You know, so sometimes we never know, right, where life will bring. So for me, I sometimes vacillate between the fear and that appreciation. We're definitely been first out of our comfort zones. Um, and I love it if you can share it. But I don't know if you can appreciate this and if you feel this way, I have been more creatively energized than ever before because of this. Do you guys, are you guys the same? I love it, you guys are. Um, I feel very creative. I'm ready to, to do something fun. I've had time to reflect and consider and move in those directions. And one of the stories I got to share is um, Lisa, I love it, um, her story when I did that first six month check. Um, she was a... Uh, she was a makeup artist for uh, for Hollywood. So she'd been 22 years at NBC as a makeup artist and KTLA ESPN worked at all the places and you can imagine her business just stopped um, when this happened. So the reason I love her story is she was searching for an opportunity and she actually came back to um, the Home Staging Resource, that's my company, and she realized she had looked into the course two years ago. She looked into becoming a stager and designer two years ago, but she didn't go forward then because of fear. Fear of losing stability at her job, fear of starting over. She couldn't do both at the same time. She worked long days. She's a single mom, so stability was key, and COVID actually brought her the perfect time to do it, which I love it. She's like, I'm not getting any younger. I'm no longer afraid. How cool is that? So what did you enjoy working on in your past? Sometimes knowing what you want to do in your future is how you know what you enjoyed in the past. And what were you most proud of? Because um, when we do those lessons of reflecting, um, how many of you guys in this last year have done anything with your house? Remodeling, because you realize that's what you love. Jermaine says fashion, I love it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, remodeling, I know, is on the rise. Similar to the survey, we're drawn back to those original passions. Yeah, Every, a lot of you guys have done new homes. You're not alone. Um, remodeling is completely where a lot of things took a dive. The one thing that never did was the Home Depot, the Lowe's, and now you guys know there's like even a shortage of stuff, right? We're seeing that. So now let's talk about staging and design. Yeah, you guys are remodeling. Look at you guys, I love it. Um, the new homeowner. So the reason why I always talk about, a lot of people think, well, I've, I wanna go to design class or I did my design school and hey, I get it. Or they just worry that they need the four years of design school, you do not. Um, I always say staging versus design, they're very similar in nature. Obviously, you know, staging is helping people design the home to sell. And the new homeowner, is actually the interior designer's best target market because most people when they're moving into their home want to remodel in some way. But the problem with the interior designer model is that they can't find them, that new homeowner, until after they've moved. Whereas the home stager actually gets first crack at that person as a client. So I've always preached, you know, I teach both staging and you know, redesign, but I always say staging is the easier to start as a business model. And I'm, I've shared this, I'm going to share this again with you guys, but this statistics, I just listed on my blog, National Association of Realtors, 25% of the respondents, the agents said that their client, their buyer is planning on remodeling within three months of selling their home. So there's a lot of remodeling business out there. <laughs> it's crazy. And if the stagers are simply, so if you're on this call and you're a stager and you're not after every staging job completely positioning, let's do a design plan for your new home and, and positioning that business, you're missing out on so much business right now. Look at these stats. Six, almost 60% said that they can't believe the increase in people who are planning to remodel. So a lot of you who said you're remodeling, you're not alone. A lot of people are planning to do more. And that's why I like staging as a business success path. It is a better business success path because it's really easy to market your business. 
it has staging has target markets that will buy from you over and over again and those are real estate agents real estate agents use the same stager come with me on all my listings be part of my listing presentation so that is a client that will just constantly feed you business. And I always say, if staging is your niche, you never know where your business, this business is gonna take you, but if it's in staging, you just need five really good agent uh, partners who give you all their business and you're set. Um, staging has a low barrier to entry. It's easy to start. Um, one of you guys said you're an agent. I have a lot of agents who just love staging. They got into um, becoming an agent because they love design. I get you. Um, and they actually do a lot of, they not only are an agent, they do staging for other agents. So that's why I said this is for everybody. It's easy to start. It's inexpensive to start. It doesn't take four years and it can be done while you're working. <laughs> so Lindsay, who I mentioned to you before, I'm continuing her thread for you. She's even on this call. When she said suddenly her mantra was, I do this not because of I love it, but I need to for the money. Well, guess what? She's on track this year to make six figures as a one woman show. And her business is expanding to help people nationally via her virtual remote e-design services, right? So she's comboed both the staging redesign and the e-design because she has people who are constantly, and she's doing actually more redesign than staging. I always say start with staging and then it a lot of times moves to redesign and e-design. And it's been so crazy, so much so that she's almost hesitated to share her successes with me during a year when people have endured so much hardship. But she wanted to share that with me, Audra, because you had such a big, part of this. So thank you from the bottom of my design loving heart. Uh, P.S. I just signed up for your color training and I'm so excited. Um, so how cool is that? So I think that's cool that she, you know, kind of here she had to pivot from this is something I love to this is something I'm going to make money at. And she did that. And if there was any doubt, she is in the right field. This is a before kitchen and this is the after kitchen that she designed. Now, this is the interesting thing. She started with a staging certification, but she ends up, this is not staging. This is design, doing a lot of design work and e-design now. So you never know where this business is going to take you. So let's talk about the industry and where things are at. I love that one of you guys said, ta-da. Okay. This just came in, April 26 article. I've never seen a market this hot. How many of you, your real estate market is smoking hot? Just like this <laughs> article, right? crazy um and here's the thing as much as we may think oh my gosh this real estate market it, when is it gonna slow down um recent articles are showing it's nowhere near over this is not going to be a housing bubble i'm afraid which is a great thing right this is not like the bubble of uh how many years ago right 12 years ago because look at this graph this is the difference the housing, the existing home sales supply, the supply of homes are still too low. The problem is builders stopped building. <laughs> They're just now playing catch up. That's why there's a lumber shortage. This is why the housing market will continue to um, do well, which is great. Doesn't hurt that the interest rates are still low, but even if they creep up, it, that won't necessarily hurt us. So that's encouraging. Um, I shared with you, the, a lot of my stagers are like, Audra, I can't, I'm getting agents who tell me I, that they don't even need the stager right now. Things are flying off the shelf. They put it on the market and they're going to get 30 offers, right? Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, here's the beauty. And this is why it's important that you know both staging and the redesign side. That's why I teach both because of people, when people are making money on their homes, guess what they do? They spend on their home. <laughs> so it's kind of an economy proof industry, the staging and design one, which is why I absolutely love it. And that's why I've been doing this for 15 years. Um, so in any industry, it kind of flourishes. Even when um, the market was terrible during the housing bubble, the homes absolutely needed to be staged in order to even sell. So that's when staging was still kind of hot. So, and I've had some of you, if you're on the line as a veteran stager who've been around in the 15 years that I've been around, I'd love it, love to see some longevity. So it is important to learn both staging and design. So let's talk about the roadmap to success. It starts with you. If you want to start a business doing this, you have to know that you are your brand. People like to hide behind their business name. Sorry, they're picking, they're going to choose your talent. And it starts with that talent. 
that you have. So you have to have that vision for yourself. Where do you see yourself? And your story, wherever that is, and you heard some of the stories, a nurse, a teacher, a flight attendant, that story is what brings you, everybody who enters into the staging industry has reinvented them to some form. And your story really matters because it becomes a very personal connection to your clients. So be true to it. Um, think about the kind of design work that you'd like to do. That's why I like to showcase different kinds from staging to design, to e-design, to color, uh, to commercial design. I, I've seen all things because you can't necessarily be all things to all people, um, but you can try all sorts of different things and then focus on the one that you love, much like Lindsay did. In fact, Lindsay said, she, she said to me later, I really do feel like once the business structure is there, thanks to you, ha ha ha, the sky is the limit in regards to what you can do with design. And she's absolutely right. Um, it's been pretty amazing. Her company name, Design with Grace and Joy, is after her two little girls' middle names. And I love having them see their mom be a total boss. But I love this comment because she took her business, Design with Grace and Joy, that is her story. Her little girls are part of her story. Her story of being a boss and stepping up for her family, that is a story that clients and everyone can relate to. <laughs> and that's why your passions matter. You may think, I, I can't do this, I don't know how. Here's the kicker, if you're not in love with what you do as an entrepreneur, you're gonna get burned or bored, you have to, and your passion is your gift. And you may think that everybody has that same passion. They do not, they do not all have your gift. Everyone has gifts, but not everyone's gifts are the same. Um, Morgan Julia shared her story where she is a professional dancer for 20 years and COVID completely shut down all the theaters and performance. She had to find a new career and her parents' landlords were agents and stagers. And she was so impressed by their staging work and how they can transform a room that, and she knew her mother's dream was to always be an interior designer, but her mother gave up her dreams when she had children. And she wanted to build a business with her mother. She's actually a very business savvy person. Morgan Julia is. So they were going to open up a dance studio, but obviously COVID put the kibosh on that. She had zero interior design classes, knew nothing about staging, but she was so intrigued by the landlord's work that she knew it would be a perfect business for her mother and her. Sure enough, and the short story is, her and her mother started my training, started a business in the Bay Area, and their business is booming. Fast forward three months, and they are doing vacant stages in the million dollars, getting rave reviews, loving what they do. And I just, I have to say, I love the mother-daughter <laughs> combos. We've got quite a few of them. So again, just commenting. So a lot of you know, passions matter. It's incredible what can happen when you take your dreams seriously. You do not choose your desires they choose you. All right. That's why what we're good at and what comes naturally to us, it's no accident. It's meant to be that way. So think about starting a business that's aligned with that passion and know that your gift, your your passion for design will fuel your interest in learning more of it. So it really comes from that knowledge and that knowledge, when you have knowledge in what you want to do, it gives you confidence. Right? So you're not going to be confident today if you've never taken a training or learned anything, <laughs> but it will bring that. And here's the thing that you don't realize, because all of you told me that you redecorated your rooms when you were a kid and you had the Barbie house and all that. You have been teaching yourself the design portion of this all your life, and you don't even realize it. Now, I'm going to tell you, you are not going to be as good today as next year but you're still better than the seller who really could use your help. <laughs> and that's what I tell people. So what would you right now in the chat room step out and do if you would, could not fail? There's no reason you could fail. I know one of you said you love fashion. Fashion is art, whatever it is. What would you step out and do if you could not fail? Um, would you approach that home build? If you're a stager, would I approach that big time home builder in your age area uh, for work? Uh, start your own business. I love it. I love it. You guys are great. Because if you couldn't fail, what would you do? Maybe I'd probably invest in a lottery ticket. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway, um, Susan Bryant, she is using this as a creative outlet. She plans to work part time until it grows. And then I know one of you guys had asked that. How do you do it? Will you start by learning? about it and then doing it part-time. This is the thing, you're the boss, you set the hours. Tanya is in week one. 
and she's so excited. She was a labor and delivery nurse for 20 years and she loved it. Um, but she wanted, she's always had that life low, long love for design. And so she wants to kind of do that as well on the side. I love it. You guys, I love it. I love your stuff. So it's not hard to start your own business, you guys. You can do that while even working. All you need to do is consider your business type. Do you know that's kind of the nuts and bolts. Are you going to be a sole proprietorship, an LLC, and a lot of that just depends. You can go online to score and find out. Okay, what business to start? You just you know get, get your registration for it. Choose your business name. That's the big one. That's the one that you really want to put the thought and time in, and then reserve that website address or domain at GoDaddy. And then I say always pop the champagne once you do that, because that's a big step. Even if you don't have any business or anything, picking that name and having that vision is what will propel you. Then you create a website in your market materials. Canva.com is the easiest place to create market materials. You need only go there. It's free. Search business cards and you will find a million templates and then print them. And I tell you, the printing is cheap. Cheapest I've seen. Squarespace or Wix for websites. All you really need are three pages about us, services in your portfolio. Typically, we also offer websites through my training. Um, and then and then organize your home office or sometimes it's a kitchen desk because this is going to be your workspace. Start creating your portfolio. If you love design, this is the fun part. Start doing the before and after photos. A lot of you said you've done remodel. Take the before, take the after photos. You are building your portfolio. So then you just need to think, do you, do you quit your day job? Do you stay or slowly build? When it comes to costs, which I know a lot of you had asked to getting started, of course, I'm going to say the cost of getting started is training and guidance. That's what I say. I walk you through every step because then you're not going to make those mistakes. You have all the downloads, the forms, everything. Um, but then you're going to need your marketing materials. Those cost, I mean, probably not even $100. Your website and hosting, depending on where you get it, you know, and you can go really cheap on that if you want to start. And your computer, your printer, and your cell phone. But here's the thing. When you have your own business, whatever you spend on your business, like you already have a cell phone bill. Guess what? Now that becomes your business write-off, right? Your computer, your printer, anything you buy for your business. And in the staging and design realm, um, the business write-offs are pretty awesome because whatever you buy, beautiful for your home, you're going to put in a client's home becomes that right off. <laughs> so it's a pretty great industry for that. Um, and you're going to be that boss instead of an employee. And if we learned anything from COVID, there's no such thing as the sure job. But I'm going to be honest, self-motivation is key. You have to be motivated. You have to wake up and get those steps, get those things done. Now, save your questions, guys. You guys are great, but save them. But at least when you're your own boss, you reap your own rewards. Look at Lindsay. She's a six figures reaping her own rewards. She's answering to herself. She is setting her own schedule. And the thing is, you just think outside the box. In our industry, there are kind of a consultation niche and a vacant niche. A lot of people don't understand. A lot of people think they can't become stagers because they think they need to buy a lot of inventory and move it into empty homes. And you do not need to do that, right? So if you have monetary constraints, if you need more time flexibility, I mean, like Lindsay, she's got two little kids. If you like to work with people and offer solutions, and you like the challenge and creativity of working with people's items and solving design issues, if that's you in the chat room, go ahead and put, that's me. Then consulting a zero overhead consultation-based business in the design and staging world could be you. And it works very simply. I walk this people through this business model in my training. I actually walk people through both. Um, but I find a lot of people love this. They're retirees or they're people who just want to work part-time while they're working full-time or they just want to scratch their creative itch, right? Here's the before photo. You, you, this is a consultation that my sister did where she goes in, she tells them the design choices to make, different lighting, different paint colors. She goes shopping for them and comes back and does the install. Now, this is not her furniture. This was the client's furniture, right, for the staged home. But it is 100% better because she did the design plan for the light fixtures and the paint. Um, so that's the kind of thing is zero overhead. So a lot of people go, well, how do I make money doing that? Well, if you just had two consultations like that a week at $500, you charge 250, let's say each 200 to 250. This is your pricing, by the way, um, with maybe two hours of shopping at $75 an hour, um, especially if you're just shopping retail for the client. 
quick, you know, home goods, Target, if you're doing that. I have also a lot of resources for how to shop trade for your, you know, luxury clients. And that's a whole other ballgame where you can make big money on um, wholesale items. But that's an that's not keeping it simple. We're keeping it simple here with your consultation. Um, and then let's say you did a staging day and install like what she did where she brought those things in. And then let's say you supplemented with a color consultation. That's $1,700 a week or $88,000 a year. And that is a zero overhead business. You guys are professional shoppers. You guys love design for 15 client hours a week. So if you add just another day of redesign, hey, the client that's that staged home that my sister just said, can you help me rearrange my stuff in my new home? I don't know where to put anything. I need help with color choices and design choices. Of course, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody charges differently. I'm being conservative when I uh, tell my pricing here. You would be making over six figures easily on 20 hours of client hours. So. The key to consultation success is you really do want to broaden your services. You don't just want to do one thing. I mean, you can, but it definitely helps because consultations are pretty similar. You want to upsell your e-design plans. Obviously, that's what Lindsay did. That's why she's working with clients remotely, you know, who are just hearing about her word of mouth. She's doing the e-design plans and, and walking them through it. So she started with staging, do redesign, e-design, and color. I always say color is a great one because it is a gateway service. People are afraid of it, especially, I mean, so many people, you hire the painter, you don't paint yourself. And then um, it gives you the most bang for your buck, right? Color is, is kind of exciting. And there are definitely rules to color. And I'm going to be honest, people break them all the time. And that is one reason why I have a color training to walk people through because the trends have changed, the colors change, and there's definitely... Um, a conversation to be had about picking timeless um, colors or pieces and then and then working through the trend items on the inexpensive rent. So in my color training, I, it's not really all just about paint colors. It's also about finished colors and furnishing colors and making sure all of the color schemes in a home goes together. It was an award-winning training but if that's the niche for you, I'm going to actually put up, I'm actually doing something a little bit different in this presentation because I'm not going to have a presentation like this um, where I'm offering a discount on my color e-design and staging courses for a long time, you guys. So that's why I'm just warning you if you were, if you have been shadowing and thinking, okay, I get these emails all the time. Audra, when's the next time you're going to offer your discount? This is going to be it for a while. And in fact, Oh, my prices might go up. So I'm just, it's, I've kept my prices for a long, long time. Everyone who knows I am offering, let me get it out here for you guys. I think you should be able to see it. All right. Use this coupon code. If you click on that button, get discount, it's going to open up another window to my courses page and you can actually save $50 on every one of my training courses. Um, usually when I do these, I only do it on one course, but I'm doing it on all because I'm not going to do one like this in a while. So <laughs> this is a good opportunity. If, if, I mean, you could save $150 because you would save on the color training if you wanted to do color. Color. And what you do is you just go to the get discount page under the courses. It's on the full price. If you click on that right here in the coupon code, just put great 2021. That coupon is live. It is expiring Saturday at midnight, but it is live for you now. I am going to also email you guys the follow up on this. Oh, Debbie, thank you. She said it was the best thing she ever did. <laughs> I love it. No, I, I love what I do. It's pretty great. Um, and I'm also doing it for my e-design course because I know a lot of you guys really wanted that. Um, and the e-design course is what I was telling you that kind of Lindsay does where she's doing these design plans. If you wonder what that looks like, it's this. It's a design plan. I'm actually going to give you guys one as a gift and a follow-up email, my, my Mother's Day gift list. But the design plan is where you're putting it together, that visual. And never underestimate the power of a visual with clients. So if you are a stager or designer and you're not like instantly saying, Hey client, let's let's work on a design plan. This is the kind of plans I do. I have these design plans over a hundred in my design files account. And when you sign up for my e-design training and then you sign up for design files, you get all of my projects in your account. So you're never reinventing. And this one I love because what these are are links to products 
retail products where the client, you give them a presentation and they can just buy it themselves and then you charge them the fee for creating the design plan. If you like, you want to just keep it simple. That's my e-design course. It walks you through how to do that as a business and how to market it. Um, yeah. I'm ready for some outside entertaining with this. And this is my gift to you. We just, my designers just put this together. We tapped the best gift givers. We did one last year. It was a huge hit. I've, I have purchased, I think, half the stuff on this, but a lot of the stuff has changed, including bottom right pickleball. Pickleball is my new, my new passion. So she, my girl added that on there for me. So gift ideas, and I'm going to give you you're going to get this image, but you're going to get the full report with the shopping link. So if you want to send them to your a significant other spouse or whatever, or just buy any of these good stuff for yourself, you can. So you can actually see the way the presentations work. That's why I'm going to give that to you as a free gift because you guys were so good to attend. So thank you. Uh, <laughs> you guys are good. So for some of you, whether it's the color of the e-design, maybe you just want to dip your toe. I know I saw a lot of you say, I just like the idea of starting just partially. Those are perfect trainings for that. Um, you have nothing to lose by trying and everything to gain by trying. Um, so for a lot of you, you know, I know there are things that you need to let go of before you can even move forward. I was the same way. Um, I, I had a lot of limiting beliefs about myself. Um, and hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, I had even imposter syndrome. How many, how many of you guys in the chat room kind of sometimes feel that way? Like, yeah, I can't do that. My friends and family, they're not going to know. Good. Thank you, Patty. Uh, or some of us, especially because we're creatives, we have the need to be perfect. And so instead of taking two hours on something, we're taking like 10 and we just don't, shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Yeah, that's my problem too sometimes. I'm working for, I'm working through it, guys. Um, or we need the stars to align. You know, that was the thing. Look at Lisa's story. She had been shadowing home staging research, my bit, you know, getting her certification for two years. And, um, you know, time is ticking, right? <laughs> the fear of failure. But we need to let those go, right? We just need to let those go because life is short. If we've learned anything from this pandemic, it's that. Um, I love what Lisa, getting back to Lisa's story, had to say. She lost her dad um, in October. He was a pro baseball player, and it's been really hard for her to mourn in private. Um, she said that he instilled in her, work hard, create a legacy, show up, be professional and own your own business. I was always fearful to own my own business, but I hear my dad telling me, you can do it. Of course I can. I have been a single mom for 12 years. I have fallen many times. I've fixed my hair and makeup and gotten right back up. How cool is that? Super inspiring. <laughs> you guys are go. So Here's some things or pitfalls that you do not need to make because I already told you, you do not need to invest in inventory. I have a very specific way for you to shop and get inventory for your client. Um, investing in too much inventory without clients, no need. And I have a way in my vacant training in my staging and design certification that walks you through when you first get that first client, you get that big check up front so you can go shopping. <laughs> not investing enough time in their portfolio and their selfie. Remember, you are your brand. So I tell people, you know, take that phone of yours. Let's go outside. Let's do some fun selfies or have a friend take photos of you. And you just, you got to own it and put yourself out there on social. Um, not picking the type of business to pursue first. So finding that niche and let it, or letting clients decide for them, going for that low hanging fruit. So those are all kind of mistakes because at the end of the day, you have to be true to you. You have to create the business that fits your lifestyle, not someone else's. And I want to encourage you because this is why I share these stories. These people have done that. That's the thing. You, the beauty of being your own boss is to tell that client, ah, it sounds like we're not going to be a fit. Tell that difficult whining person, eh, I don't think that we're going to work together that well, you know. So value that freedom and creativity and just say no to what you don't or can't do, but never letting the fear or imposter syndrome be that no for you, overcoming that fear because you can't even believe how, how much you already know because of that passion. That's why I always tell you, trust yourself. <laughs> You're the boss. Go ahead and act like one. And you have the gift. You have a gift and people need it. 
Um, so trust your instincts. I mean, they need it now for staging. They need it now for design. People now, because of COVID, want to love where they live so much more. And one thing that I'm big on, and I think you guys know that's why I do these on virtual, you know, happy hour times, is I think it's important to celebrate every little success because it really isn't about, I don't like to just talk about my six figure stagers. I, of course, I'm so proud of them and I, I absolutely love it. But everything to me, when you decide to step out into that entrepreneurial realm, and I remember those early days like yesterday is a reason to celebrate. So celebrate the day you pick your business name, celebrate that first client, Enjoy and celebrate all those little wins. Maybe it's that portfolio you just did of your of your guest room or your new business cards or your shopping. In my private Stagers Connect group, we do a lot of celebrating with each other. And that's, I would have it no other way because you're building something special that you can call your own and, and nobody can take that from you. Um, so small steps. One thing I do have in my training. Ooh, save your questions. I'm going to do your questions at the end because I definitely want to handle them. You guys are great. <laughs> um, um, I do have all the step by steps. You know, that's that's the point. Small steps while working is very, very doable. You do it at your own pace. Um, and then you get to shop till you drop. You get to connect to trade vendors and catalogs. You get discounts on things you're not getting discounts on now. You might even save more money if you're big shoppers. Um, and marketing is really about, like I said, it's really about you. So you market according to your location and your strengths. If you're in a big metropolitan area, it's I always recommend Google pay-per-click, you know, because that's a very easy way right away to get found. People are searching for you. They're searching for designers and stagers in your big metropolitan area daily right now. Um, searches are up on Yelp and in Google and everywhere else, hundreds percent. I shared that in my last one, <laughs> my last um live workshop. So market, if you're in a small area, that's a great one. There's less competition and you just network. It's this area that you can connect with um, groups. I love it. Make sure you're in all the places your ideal client would look for you. And really marketing is a numbers game. So you just have to play those numbers. You don't get frustrated or give up after talking to two you know, negative Nellies. That's nothing. You got to talk to 20, right? And you got to throw it out there. Most stagers are not playing the numbers game. You know, they just aren't, um, but there's an easy way of playing it. I walk you through it in my training because marketing is enthusiasm transferred to the customer. That's all it is. And if you can't get excited about doing design work and making people's homes beautiful, um, then this isn't the right industry for you, right? But I know most of you would say that you can get really excited about doing that. You walk into your friend's homes probably as it is, if that's you, um, you love that sort of stuff. Yeah, you're in the right place. One thing I should have mentioned about Lindsay, the photo that I showed, this is her Facebook on her Facebook profile, which I love. She has a little video of herself doing this. I just did the still here for you guys. And you know what she's holding? She's holding her, her HSR certification in staging and design. And she has that on her Facebook. And she is transferring her enthusiasm to her new career and what she does where all her friends can see it. No surprise. That enthusiasm is right there in her marketing. This simple thing that she did because she was excited to earn this um, is, is getting her a lot more business. Yeah, that's great. Um, getting to where you want to go, it doesn't just happen. It takes careful planning, productivity, and motivation. And I know some of you have been hoping to, you know, I do these free live workshops. These are nothing compared to what's in my, my training. So if you get a little gleaning from this, I, I'm glad, but that planning, productivity, and motivation, it's kind of like what you, the work you put in a room. This is my sister's work, I share it. She and I had our staging business in the beginning 15 years ago. She's still staging. This is the before, but the after does not happen overnight right? It's careful planning, motivation, and productivity. It's the vendors, it's the connections, it's the know-how, and, and putting this room together. So the way we put our rooms together, not much different. And I love it. Lisa, I asked Lisa, well, what would you say to the people in the workshop? You know, what would you say to them? And she said, to anyone worried about starting over when you think you're too old, don't. 
You owe it to yourself. This course has given me the confidence to get my name out there. I have so many plans. I have been till I officially open. I have utilized all my contacts I have made over the years and they're paying off. Um, and I'm asking them for help. You'd be surprised. People actually want to help you. That's why I love that Lindsay even put that photo on her Facebook. Your friends and family, people, when they know, because they know you have that eye for design, they probably already do. So talk to people, talk to your colleagues. And that was her big weakest, not asking. She said, take the trip, eat the cake, buy the shoes. Life is too short. <laughs> How are you going to reflect on the way you spent your downtime? Patricia shared this really openly and I love it. I think she's even on this workshop and she just shared this this last week. Um, and I think you remember she was the one who literally the perfect storm of life, terrible life circumstances hit her all at once. And then the pandemic came. And so she says to everybody in our group, I'd like to say that to everyone for helping me through the bad time, divorce, moving, losing my job, unemployed for six months, starting a new job, my last child off to college so she's by herself and she's finally ready to launch her business but she, if she didn't have this course and page to watch every night feeding her hopes and planning for the future she doesn't know what frame of mind she would have had instead of being instead of this kind of hard time in her life being negative it is an awesome memory and it gives me faith you all inspired me and kept me going and you continue to do so every day. So when I talk about we celebrate, I celebrate everybody. When you when you take this plunge, it's a hard plunge, but there's so much to celebrate because you're building something that's your own. So now I wanna take questions on the training if you have any. What I offer is a complete A to Z. It's three weeks of training. I've talked to you about my color, talked to you about my E design, but my staging and design training, it is my big one. It's three weeks and you know you've got that private group. You can see how awesome it is. Oh, Trish, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it's a retirement. Um, you get complete support. A lot of you said that we do have an 800 number. I, I don't get these stories out of the nether. I talk to people on my email and um, there's so much support just inside where even design, people throw out design questions all the time. Um, you can always refer back to the training and that's the importance about taking an online staging and design training um, versus a classroom. And I know there haven't been a lot of classrooms with COVID, but it's you wanna be able to refer back to it. So when you get that first client, you can hit that video. So if, if you're ready, go to that courses link. Hopefully you saw my special and um, Scott, you might need to throw that out in the chat room. Um, go to my courses page. This is the best price you're ever gonna get. Um, it's a discount, like I said, on all of my courses. Uh, <laughs> um, the training is um, recorded, um, but the Stagers Connect is live. So it's at your own pace. You can get in it. You can take your time. You can go the three weeks. You can take three months. You do get a hard copy training manual. It's a fatty. Um, it corresponds to the online videos. And then it's you just check box by there. So you can see this is what the three weeks looks like. So first week is all about that consultation-based business model, Occupy Consultations. Um, and, and every day I have a design module that walks you through the design side and the how-to side. Um, but I walk you through pricing processes, everything you need. Um, week two is all about vacant staging and marketing. And oops. And week three is all advanced. So basically I took a lot of uh, my competitors, they break it all up and then they charge you, charge you, charge you. For the one price, it's normally $9.99. Again, that price is probably gonna go up. I've never raised it and I'm finally gonna raise it 15 years later um, in the near future. So this is at $9.50, this is the best price you're gonna get. I'm just being very honest. Um, somebody asked how many hours of study per day. It's about, it, you're studying and doing. You're studying and building your business. So about four hours per day. Um, yeah, the combined course discount is you get $50 off each. So you could save $150 by buying all three. Uh, so somebody said, how many hours? Four hours. Thank you, Natalie. So I do advanced training, you know, realtor partnerships, Airbnb. Um, a lot of people are doing Airbnb work. So I want you to know that. I do design training. I teach you how to do model homes and vision boards and holiday design. There is so much in this course. And I give you all the downloads and forms. I give you these things in Canva so you can change all the colors, all the branding and your logo and, and just go to print. These are flyers you can give to agents. I give you all your pricing, your proposals, your contracts, your order form, so you know what questions to ask clients. Um, Patty says she ended up setting around five hours a day. Thank you, Patty, that was great. 
Um, the coupon expires Saturday at midnight. Airbnbs, Trisha, are super hot, and I have the, probably the best training you're ever going to get on that with all the downloads for it to walk you through how to market it and how to build that side of your business. It is a lot of resources. I mean, that's why I'm called the Home Staging Resource. You get a walkthrough guide, so you're walking through the home with your walkthrough guides. Yes, I recommend you sign up if you want the multiple courses because here's the thing. You get a year to go through. So the e-design and the color, they're three-day courses. You could bang those out. I have my stagers. They bang that out in three days. They put that service on their website and then they're making money in three days, in less than a week. Um, it's a great, those are great courses, add-ons for anyone who's in design and staging. Um, and it's great to take, I always say recommend starting with the staging and redesign first. Always start with that one first because this one is, it gets you start to finish. Um, if you start a new course, if we're finishing, yeah, you, you can do all of them at once. I have a lot of people who do that. You have a year. It's plenty, and you can always add the extra year. Um, for people who want to add the extra year for e-design and color, it's just $100 more for the extra year. Uh, <laughs> if you work full-time, uh, can it be done in three weeks? You know what, Renee? People tell me they can't put down the material. They can't put it down. They love it so much because they're building something, right? Really special. It's like reading like, oh, yeah, Cheryl just said it. Cheryl, you are awesome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah. Confidence comes from knowledge, so investing in your learning will inevitably lead you to all the confidence you need. People come to me, they're excited and scared. They leave me excited and confident, and I, and I love that because you just spent an hour with me, and, and one thing that I love to do because these stories motivate me is share people's stories. I have more stories behind every one story I share with you. There's 10 more that I haven't. I mean, that's why I'm glad that some of my members are on these workshops because their stories are there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bridget, I have people making six figures uh, be definitely before taxes and after both. I mean, it's just, you did, I showed you, I did the math on the, what people can make. Um, Tina, the website is right now $699. I am launching, releasing a brand new updated version in a month for that price, but that price is going up. So if you wanted to get a website, any of my members, anytime soon, you want to get it today because that price is going up in the next two weeks. Um, yeah. And there, there is a test, Lynn, at the end. That's when we, that's how we know you got through it. It is not hard because I believe to be the resource. I want to be that ongoing business resource for you. A lot of the material in the training you don't need today. You won't even need in three months. But in six months when the agents, an agent says, can you do a presentation at our office? You have a presentation PowerPoint to download in my training. So it's all kind of there for you. And I've been building on it for 15 years, you guys. So it is always there. The website price is $699 nine dollars right now um and it is uh, and right now just an unbelievable you you won't i'm going to be releasing now that's my next workshop in three weeks that'll be or in a month that i'll be talking about that's why i said this discount saturday at midnight i'm not going to be doing these on these that's why i'm doing it on all my trainings because you're not going to see it for a while i am going to email you all a follow-up and the replay and I have to, you know, also finish with Lisa saying she's booked two TV appearances. This woman is on fire, which I love from her staging and her excitement. Um, so I will email you. <laughs> For those, oh, okay, somebody said, for those of you on the fence, do it. Oh, thank you, Renee. You are awesome. Uh, Yes, Dina, the e-designer course walks you through the best software and app to use. I mean, I'll tell you, it's design files. And what I've done is I've created an account that you actually get. So you're never reinventing. You're never looking at a blank project. It's amazing. You're going to love that one. Um, oh, good. Renee, I love it. Uh, what is the cost of the e-design course? Well, with your $50 discount, it's $750. dollars <laughs> which is less than $10 a board because we can give you over 100 boards in your project files. Oh, thank you, Robin. You guys are sweet. Thank you, Jermaine. You guys are wonderful. Any other questions? Oh, um, when we renew, yeah, you're still in the stagers directory. The renewal is what is paying for you to stay in the directory. We get a lot of uh, traffic on that directory. Um, oh, thank you, Kathy. You guys are sweet. That's great. Any other questions on the training, anything? You know you can email me direct. You're getting emails from me. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. You can call us. I'm going to send you an email with the replay. You guys were such a wonderful group. Um, 
and it's Liz, if you go to the courses page, it is $7.99 for the e-design. Your $50 off makes it $7.50. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful rest of your night. Thank you for being a wonderful group. And hopefully I see you in the next workshop.